Hi, Scorps. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's tap into your energy, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome Scorps, okay? Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super things. I'm sending all that love back to you all tenfold, okay? So let's see what's going on here. It said taking action, finally doing something. Should I leave it? I guess I'll leave it. Okay, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. So let's see what's going on here, sports, okay? <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm, sports and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my sports. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Scorpio. Alright, let me just split the deck, honey. Legal matters, legal issues affecting life. Somebody's name could be Ariel. Grieving heart, feeling guilty and apologetic, willing to reach out. Okay. Let's see, what's going on here for Scorps? So we got metal here, worth fighting for. You deserve to win, don't give up. Finesse, manipulator or trickster, smooth operator. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is behavioral issues, hostile and antisocial. Okay, so, Scorps, let's see what's going on, man. So, yeah, five of wands, as soon as I split the deck. For some of you, somebody just wants to keep on going. They want to keep they want to keep on like trying to manipulate a situation after you didn't already won in the situation. I feel like it was never no winning thing to begin with. Like you're not competing, but somebody just they just so hell bent on trying to like block you or do whatever the fuck they're doing. But spirit could be telling you not to give up, keep going, keep fighting for what you want. Don't worry about whatever this shit is, this damn so called finesser. <laughs> Somebody, <clears throat> let's see. The moon. What's taking action here? Finally doing something since that came out. Let's see what that is. Okay, the chariot in the reverse. Cancer. So something here is like out of control or now that you're finally getting up to do something, somebody could be trying to coerce you into doing some things here that you don't want to do, whether it be energetically, they're trying to push you into something or pull you away from something, or it could be in the physical. But this is definitely like hate winning over love here. It's probably hateful as fuck with the chariot in the reverse. That's like also not having a sense of direction. Let's take an action with the chariot reverse. Some of you guys... Um, yeah. King of Pentacles reverse. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Somebody here could be trying to attack your solar plexus. Okay, your solar plexus chakra. They're trying to just stop you from having this courage or this willpower, this determination to move forward. They're trying to cause blockages. But they ask could be getting like they they could be going through some sort of blockages to them damn selves and, and they should because they keep trying to block you okay so this king of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's like uh superficial materialistic somebody here could be losing money something is just out of control what's this cherry reverse somebody okay the world what's cherry reverse with the world the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Some of you guys could be doing something online or you could be traveling. 
but the world is a new beginning this is like a a celebration here so you could be celebrating something i'm hearing somebody could be celebrating for how long their their business has been up and moving and running so i don't know this could be some sort of celebration or or somebody's having like a party or something but i feel like this is a new beginning and you're very much so grounded this could be a new beginning with your finances your stability your security <clears throat> or something but i feel like um you're doing something online so somebody is trying to coerce you or they're trying to coerce other people to do something Oh, it's just like, okay, somebody's doing the most. So what's the King of Pentacles in the reverse? Oh, wow. What's King of Pentacles reverse? I didn't even notice that, that that was like that. Okay, the Empress reverse. And the Page of Cups. I feel like somebody's trying to stop you from being like the empress. They don't, somebody is just like exploiting you or this could be like extortion. For some of you, there's an unexpected pregnancy here with the empress in the reverse and the page of cups upright like that. This could be an unplanned or unexpected pregnancy for some of you, but the empress in reverse is a lack of, like having a lack of confidence or this is like a lack of self care. Somebody could be trying to tamper with your, your self-confidence or something like that. What's the Empress Reverse? The night, yeah, somebody's like attacking you. Gemini energy, the Knight of Swords in reverse is um Somebody is trying to bully you here. Whoever this is, they feel like they got some sort of God complex or this is like an inferiority complex or something. Somebody's like trying to bully you. They're trying to get you to do something. What's the Empress reverse with the Knight of Souls reverse? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's like trying to steal energy, to be honest. I keep getting this. There's like some strong attacks going on right now. Hmm. Capricorn. Sun. I feel like you've released something here. You could be releasing people, places, and things that no longer serves you. And you could be releasing a situation here that you've idolized for a long time. Something about to your creative expression. Somebody's like trying to shut you up. They don't want what they're trying to attack is you. They don't want you to be able to express yourself. You could be online doing something that you could work online or something like that. Somebody's like trying to stop you from being able to share your gifts or your talents. Okay. They they don't want you to be open to like open up about something. With the four of pentacles in reverse. What's this damn page of cups? <laughs> yeah, look. Ten of swords in the reverse. Exactly. Somebody's like trying to do spell work on you. They're hexing and cursing you. Or this could be like a gossip, slander, whatever this is. What's page of cups, ten of swords reverse? The three of wands. Yeah, so this is you having a sense of foresight, you moving forward, you feeling self-assured and confident about going towards something. You broke some sort of curse here or hex off of you or you just overcame some sort of obstacles challenges hardships here 
And I feel like somebody here lost something of value. I feel like you are the one that they lost. You are the one of, of value. I feel like this person wants you to be the empress reverse. Like, literally. They want you to not have any... They don't want you to feel secure within yourself. Somebody wants to just keep exploiting you here. I don't know. This person has lost their damn mind, though. They're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Somebody really feel like they finessing some shit with their weak ass. Like, bitch, move, move around. Yeah, the, this, the, the high priestess. There could be something here coming in for you. For some of you, I keep channeling children. Like, dead ass. There could be something, too, that you're doing as far as, like, what you, like, for your work. You could be, there could be, like, a secret admirer. Yeah, look, the emperor with the queen of cups. You could be, you could be getting ready to uh, work with the divine masculine here. You're receptive and open to receiving your masculine. Or this is the masculine side of you right now. Getting ready to, you are, maybe you could be getting ready to take action on something here creative with the Queen of Cups. Or you're in this energy where you're following your heart in the situation. You're just going to take action to do something. So let's see. I don't know. Let's, let's keep pulling cards because what the fuck. I feel like somebody's trying to get foresight or insight or, or insight on something that you're doing. So they can try to figure out how the fuck they're going to ruin it with their bitch ass. What's metal? <laughs> Somebody getting on my damn nerves. Yeah, the seven of swords in reverse, Aquarius moon. The seven of wands in reverse. You guys would be seeing seven, 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 or 77 could be significant. This Knight of Swords in Reverse 2 is a coward. They're a follower. I feel like somebody is exploiting you or trying to like... They're talking to an Empress in the Reverse. I don't even feel like that's you. They're try, like they're doing something to your energy with other people or somebody else. But whatever. Like it's, It is what the fuck it is. Some sort of spell work that somebody doing. I wonder what the hell my son doing up there. Let me see something. Hold on, y'all. Hold on real quick, honey, because... Probably not going to... What are you doing? What you doing? What? Did you take a bath? Yeah. Okay, go go brush your teeth and wash your face. Please, really well. Thank you. You heard me? This little boy. Sorry about that. I, I didn't feel like going upstairs, honey. I'm so sorry. But so um the seven of swords, I feel like somebody, like I said, first of all, I feel like you outsmarted somebody or you're outsmarting someone. So the only thing that they can do is admit defeat in the situation. Your consciousness is kicking in and I feel like you're turning over a new leaf. But on the flip side of things, I feel like somebody is still trying to run away from their consequences. They're still, still trying to retaliate and do nasty shit towards you because they don't want to admit defeat seven of wands in reverse could mean that somebody is burnt out or whatever the fuck this is but it could also mean that somebody's like really rigid they're really stubborn they want to keep going with some dumb shit like i said what's the seven of swords in the reverse hopefully that ain't what it is it's like bitch give it up this person just don't want to let something go with their weird ass yeah after something that already failed it failed it didn't work like okay three of pentacles in reverse is um Somebody here not learning from their past mistakes. For some of you guys, this could be a separate situation here. <clears throat> you could, um, your consciousness is kicking in about a situation where somebody's not really working with you. They're not, this is like, 
You're listening to your inner voice when it comes down to leaving something behind and closing a chapter in your life here. Somebody didn't want to work with you or this is a lack of teamwork or somebody didn't learn from, from their past mistakes. What's the Seven of Swords reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse? They wanted to keep on running and shit. So I'm getting a different energy or... Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands here. <laughs> so yeah, that's like a sudden shift in energy. This could be some sort of travel to or communication. What's this Eight of Wands? The Ten of Cups in the reverse. What's the Eight of Wands in the Cups reverse? The lovers. So yeah, I feel like I feel like there was a certain shift because you made some sort of decision. It could have been a really tough decision. When it comes down to like what's truly making you happy at this time or at this point in your journey, the lovers is definitely a tough decision. It could be a choice between two that's here or this is what somebody did to your ass and you just got tired of being a damn option in, in a situation but the lovers is harmony it's balance okay it's union it's partnership family values and morals this is you feeling like secure not really having any trust issues it's like you're allowing other connections excuse me in You're realizing that something just is not, it don't align with you. I feel like, too, somebody could be with somebody else. What's the Ten of Cups reverse, man? Yeah, Eight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody could be in a fake-ass family dynamic that they don't want to be in either. There could be some sort of family secrets coming out, too. It's a lot going on in this energy. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Is you coming out of your head about something? I feel like you're realizing that something is just not your happily ever after. It's just not. This is not you staying a victim in something anymore, or being silenced, or um, feeling confused, or self sabotaging, or whatever this is you was doing. You're now you're now finding balance somewhere. I feel like you're moving away from someone that keeps running. They are not, they're not whole and complete within themselves. So you have until you, you're not in alignment with that kind of person. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. And the Hierophant. So you learn some sort of lesson here. I feel like this has a lot to do with two practicalities. So it's like, yeah, and then we have the High Priestess. So it's like you, um, you could have been. idolizing something the page of cups is idealism you know somebody here kept being in and out back and forth not making promises that they making promises that they really can't keep for real somebody is unconscious the judgment in reverse they're not learning their damn lessons here i feel like somebody's unforgiving as well or somebody's just like really superficial materialistic and they will do anything for money I feel like whoever this King of Pentacles is in reverse, I don't know if this is your ex or whatever the fuck this is, but it's like they're letting people attack you. Somebody's just a loser. And I feel like they're trying to get you to go backwards on your journey so that way you won't know where to go, what to do. It's like they get a kick out of that shit with their weak ass. Or this could be somebody that you was just dating and they have an Empress in reverse around. Or something like that. And they follow behind this bitch or whatever this is. I feel like, okay. It is what it is. Somebody's a follower. They're a follower. I feel like somebody too is severely depressed. Ten of Cups reverse, Eight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's like really depressed. So yeah, there's a sudden shift with this shit because I feel like you're not being bothered with it. What's Three of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Pentacles reverse? Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. So you could be getting a new offer here from an air sign. 
or there there was like an offer here towards this air sign Somebody got offered a lot of money here to be cold towards you or be nasty towards you here. This could be Archangel Michael trying to guide you to a new opportunity and realize that somebody is not doing what the fuck they need to do. So I feel like you have a new opportunity here. Something here failed. There's a group of people that try to do something or this is some sort of collaboration, third party energy. That shit failed. Now everybody, what? They're trying to run for the hills? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm all... Yeah, the two of wands. There's like a partnership or something coming in. I feel like you're just going through a major transition, too. It's a lot happening with this damn energy. It's too many people here, too. It's like, who the fuck? <clears throat> I feel like you have something more solid, stable, secure. Because whoever that King of Pentacles is, they're a loser. They're really weak-minded, too. Really fucking weak. And they'll do anything for status, fame, or fortune, or something. Money. They just lame as fuck. Either that was somebody you was married to or you was with. Or this is just like something that just happened. And they was a part of your, your journey for a minute. damn seven of wands <clears throat> in reverse yeah the two of wands what's seven of wands reverse two of wands two of swords reverse yeah decisions decisions <laughs> you guys be saying two 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 something is happening where because i'm i keep looking at this air sign this king of swords with this ace of pentacles i feel like this person <clears throat> yeah this person is thinking about money this person is very aloof very elusive and they took something and now with the three of pentacles in reverse something is just not working now like it, it wasn't working at first but i feel like somebody here did something and thought that that was the right decision i feel like it was not somebody could also be getting set up by the police <laughs> like they could be selling something or, or taking something from somebody and it's like they're being watched the whole damn time but i'm getting something was attacking you uh scorpio this could be now and stopping you from getting somewhere with a specific person <clears throat> It's like somebody's trying to confuse you. They want you to idolize the situation and sit around and wait for it to actually happen for you. And miss out on an opportunity. Miss out on an opportunity that you need to be taking or need to be going after. Waiting around for somebody else. While they on the sideline doing whatever the fuck they're doing with other people. It's something like that. But it, it's, it feels like, like spell work or something. Or I don't know. It's like somebody's trying to coerce you here. They're trying to steal an opportunity or, or take credit for your work as well, too. While also trying to attack your self-esteem, your confidence. It's like... Yeah, it, it's, it's just some dumb shit here. I'm going to pull some more cards at the end because what the fuck? It just feels like there's... It's a... Re, it's a um, cycle keeps repeating... But it feels like the reading is switched, it's flipped around to keep, to make, yeah, look, the Ace of Swords in reverse, it feels like the something is flipped around in the reading to make somebody confused as fuck. Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords reverse, Five of Swords reverse. Something is just so, something is chaotic as fuck. But I know what the fuck I see, and I ain't confusing my people, so I don't know. But anyways... This could be like information overload. Something that you may be having a process too. Two of Wands with the Two of Swords in reverse. Something is being revealed to you about a partnership. It really is. One of them looks like they're probably your twin or your counterpart, but they're not. You're realizing something. Yeah, you have clarity about something or you're getting some sort of clarity. 
something here too. I feel like you did something on impulse in the past that you need to go back and look at because you wasn't supposed to move like that. And you took something maybe from this King of Swords. This person is very cold. <clears throat> or they took an offer to, to keep you stuck like this. Like somebody, somebody's on some fuck shit. And I don't like it. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but I feel like you see something now. There's some sort of lies or something is being exposed. I thought he was calling me. Yeah. Something about your subconscious. Some sort of lies or something that's being exposed. A lot of information is coming out. This could be you too making a clear decision. I feel like somebody is not too. Whoever this is that had you confused in the beginning about their stupid ass. This person is lost. They don't even know what to, the fuck to do. Somebody refusing to make a decision or refusing. Somebody's emotionally really closed off. Somebody's really closed off emotionally. And they don't stand up for what they believe in. They're, they're an escapist. They run away from every fucking thing. They run away from all their fucking problems. With their weird ass. What's the two of swords in reverse? I'm so sick of seeing these fucking people not fighting or standing up for nothing. That shit is weak as fuck to me and I'm tired of seeing it. <laughs> I really am. I don't give a fuck if people say it's mean or not. That shit ain't mean. It's like, bitch, you need to stand up for yourself. Why the fuck are you just laying around or laying down and letting some shit happen? Stand up. What's the two of swords in the reverse? That shit weak to me. What the fuck? Yeah, Page of Swords. What's Two of Swords in reverse? Page of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Um, Virgo energy. Somebody's like watching you or playing mind games. Somebody here making promises that they can't fucking keep or don't keep or choose not to keep here. Very superficial, materialistic person. So some sort of something is being revealed about this person. Yeah, I feel like you can really they ass out in the cold. What's this then? Something was just a test too. It was a test. What's the two of wands? Yeah, the eight of cups. So yeah, you're planning for your future. You're making a decision to walk away from something and go towards something else. What's the what's the two of wands with the eight of cups? Yeah, the temperance. Yeah. Balance and harmony. Yeah. Something feels more you. Okay. Somebody here trying to finesse some shit or be a trickster. Bitch, I feel like you all smarter this dumb asshole. <laughs> but somebody here got you fucked up. With all this crazy ass, messy ass, chaotic energy. The temperance is balance. He had a four wands. Balance, restoration. I'm getting divine, like, protection as well. You see the bigger picture of something here. So now, now I feel like there's a partnership coming into uh, Scorpio. The right one, actually. Let's make that clear. The right one. Because whatever you was in was just a mess. Somebody keep on attacking your ass to confuse you. So you're surrendering something. This seven of wands could be you surrendering something, letting something go. But you're still fighting. You're still going to keep continuing to fight for the shit that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like you are, you surrendering something. You're giving up on something because it ain't worth you fighting for. Something else is. That's what I'm getting. So that's what you're going to be doing. What's the finesse here? The death card reverse, Scorpio energy. What's the finesse with the death card reverse? And the page of wands. The moon, will of fortune, reverse. <clears throat> a distraction. Yeah, the full reverse. Aquarius, Leo here, Pisces. Somebody is just a catalyst for your growth here. Yeah, there's definitely opposing forces here working against you because it's just too much confusion. But the, let me see. What's the death card reverse? The justice reverse. What's death card reverse? Justice reverse. Somebody refusing to take accountability for some shit that they're doing. Somebody is a fucking liar. What's this death card reverse with the justice reverse, man? 
the queen of swords and the damn reverse and the star reverse. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So I'm looking at that king of swords upright with the queen of swords in the reverse. This king of swords right here. They were a mirror for you to get out of something, too. Because I'm, I'm looking at that Queen of Pentacles upright, King of Pentacles reverse. This could be your ex. This King of Swords got an ex, too. Y'all have similar stories. But the difference is that you've learned from your situation and they didn't. Or something like that. Somebody got some more karmic debt to clear. Like this person, but they the, the difference is they're refusing to change their ways. The death card reverse, somebody don't want to let something go or whatever. And then they, somebody's dealing with somebody bitter as fuck. This queen of swords in reverse is so fucking bitter. They're a liar. A big ass fucking liar. The star reverse is a lack of faith or hope. Somebody being in fucking despair. Mm -mm -mm. This is a mess. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a fucking mess i feel like this person what's this what's this queen of swords in reverse do yeah somebody in competition with your ass they're in competition with you doing spell work too i feel like this person has cursed you they even did something what's queen of swords reverse with the five of wands the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Somebody going back and forth, in and out with this Knight of Wands energy. <clears throat> Somebody gave someone the wrong advice. Uh, all because they were in competition with you. Like, this shit is just dumb. The Magician, the Ace of Wands reverse, Nine of Wands reverse, the Devil. like somebody got tricked i don't feel like you did but somebody got tricked here somebody's trying to trick you too though because they're trying to coerce you with the cherry reverse that somebody's like trying to coerce you into doing something for some of you this person think that this king of swords is coming to give you some sort of offer and maybe they are let me see let me clarify real quick because I, I don't see that somebody ain't learn from shit i don't like that with that three of pentacles in reverse who is king of swords the nine of cups who the fuck is the king of swords nine of cups I feel like somebody's attacking you over somebody you ain't even with. What's, what's King of Swords Nine of Cups? Because I don't like that. The Hermit in Reverse. Somebody ain't did no damn shadow work. They ain't, they ain't in like, and I feel like you're very much so disinterested in this damn person. So this bitch over here attacking you, trying to confuse you about what? That's what I'm saying. Like somebody here keep on doing this fuck, and then they think this shit is funny. <clears throat> what's this Ace of Pentacles right here? nine of swords what's the ace of pentacles nine of swords yeah somebody is trying to um the queen of cups yeah somebody here doing something with your emotions and shit like that i feel like that's you still scorpio yeah cancer pisces scorpio somebody is trying to cause anxiety or fear or make you doubt what your intuition is telling you about a new offer and this, because I feel like this person is attacking you because they think this King of Swords is coming towards you. And they might be still wanting to come towards you, but I feel like you don't want shit to do with this person. Because they're greedy. Nine of Cups is them being all about themselves. I don't see this person. This King of Swords is like, with the, with the Nine of Cups, this is like self gratification. They don't, this person wants sex or something. The Hermit in Reverse is either paranoia, being hella reclusive. I feel like that's how they make you. They make you like this with the hermit in the reverse. This person is very cold and elusive, but they keep you stuck and in your shell. They make you not want to open up and be receptive to new offers here. This is a trick of the enemy to keep you stuck and for you to miss out on an opportunity that could have that could really be good for you. Yeah, that situation is not I feel like that King of Swords is just as karmic as this hoe. I don't give a fuck that they upright or not. They ain't no good. And this is somebody that just wants to have sex or 
something with that nine of cups. They're not at the ten of cups. So they're not whole or happy or complete within themselves. They only are in things for what they want or what they can get. So I feel like you're done with that. So this bitch needs to go on somewhere with her hateful ass. Keep on trying to, yeah, the devil and the magician. Keep on, keep on trying to attack you. I feel like you're aware, though, of a shadow side of yourself. I feel like you learned the lesson you need to learn from this person. Because somebody is trying to make you doubt what you see or trying to make you doubt your manifestations. Or it's like, oh, well, I'm on the wrong track. Let me go backwards. And then you get stuck again. And it's like, no, absolutely the fuck not. Yeah, the seven of cups here. And the five of swords reverse and the ace of swords in the reverse. Somebody is somebody is retaliating. This is hostility or animosity here because they're mad that this king of swords could be going towards something new. This bitch over here is mad. So now they're just waging warfare on you. I feel like, girl, go do something else with your life, honey. Get the fuck on somewhere. Somebody here is mad as hell that this king of swords. I feel like maybe you dealt with them in the past, but you don't want them. And this person here, they, they looking for something else. Like, they ain't looking for no fucking relationship. Yeah, I feel like you want the emperor. You don't got time for the shit. You dealing with whatever these people are, they make you the empress in the reverse. You don't got time. It's like, you know you ain't meant for none of these motherfuckers here on this damn board. They're all raggedy, equally. Let me see. <laughs> 939 is on the clock. something real quick what's the page of wands spirit what's page of wands the judgment reverse with the knight of cups <laughs> no it's a custom reverse unrequited love impulsive behaviors with the hangman reverse queen of wands in reverse Judgment in reverse is indecisiveness, a karmic lesson repeating. <clears throat> um, a lack of self-awareness, <laughs> mainly. I feel like somebody is just, it's safe finesse, manipulator or trickster, smooth operator. Somebody is on some fuck shit. That's like, somebody knows how to come off very charming. Very fucking charming. Disoriented. Cancer energy. Illusions. Fear. Anxiety. Exactly. Secrets. Lies. Need to confront feelings of inadequacy. Unclear emotions. Risky decisions. Face uncertainties with courage. Feeling out of control. Unsure of goals and dreams. Be careful of manipulation and coercion. Trickster energy. Exactly. You in a new beginning already. With the damn, with the um, queen of pentacles in the, in the world. You're already in a new beginning. You're already in a new beginning here. Somebody's trying to coerce your ass. Period. What else? Independence. Libra energy. Astute, strategic, ambitious, able to see through BS, assess all aspects of situations to get to the truth, adept at numbers, attention to detail, makes their own way, way with words, honest and direct in wisdom. It says, yes, assess all areas, and it says, maybe see the truth. Foolish, Taurus energy, naive in love, impulsive and reckless, be careful of being swindled, does not think of potential consequences, be careful of people or things that seem too good to be true. Irresponsible, easily used by others. Yeah, <clears throat> let me see. What's 
is this? Who this King of Pentacles in the damn reverse? Passenger side, Taurus energy, allowing others to dictate your decisions, not actively involved in decision making, following the leader, poor decisions, going along with bad plans that are against your best judgment. The answer is no, and it says need to step up. Give me more on this King of Pentacles reverse. We got Taurus Gemini Cusper with cycles. Yeah, something is just... <laughs> Okay, positive turn of events, growth and love, it's time to make big moves, favorable financial cycle, positive change, opportunities for growth, luck, gains, things will happen regardless, something is ending while another is beginning, yeah, it feels like that too, man, necessary changes, and it says go with it, the answer is yes, then we have dream team here, third house, sharing, Time to collaborate with others, find a partner through work or one who works well with you. Initial stages of goal or project, attracting like-minded people, get involved in a professional network or group where ideas are shared and respected, and adopting a pet. The answer is yes. Enslaved here, Mama Dearest. Yeah, I, you know. <clears throat> Who's this air sign? What's this King of Swords with this um the this this uh Ace of Pentacles? Because I feel like this King of Swords, it could be good to where somebody has a plan. They have a practical plan here. Somebody is like they the King of Swords upright, they thinking straight. So let, let's see. What's King of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles here? Reset. Sagittarius. It says end of an era. Inevitable change, ending clears way for new possibilities, victim of betrayal. Bonds will break and there is no turning back. Victim mentality, no more pain eventually. Disowned by family, forced to grow up. And it says yes, eventually. What's this can of swords with this reset? I feel like just, you need to, okay, speed demon, Aries. Hurry, decision maker, reckless, impatient and unable to wait for results, rushes through tasks and makes mistakes, shallow achiever, inattentive, avoids reflection, pushes people out of their way, maybe, but slow down. Give me one more. Radiance, cancer energy. Sharing wealth, knowing one's purpose and or worth, dreams coming true, toasting others, New love and friends, artistic flair, good health, feeling confident, giving to others, spotlight is on you. Yes, you deserve it. So you just need to slow down with making decisions right now. Don't make, you need to make sure <laughs> the end of retrograde is what, on the 29th? You need to just, don't even make no big decisions right now. Y'all just need to wait until this damn retrograde is over, I'm telling you. Just wait until this shit, because I don't know, these people on this damn spray right here is throwing me the fuck off. I don't see nobody right here that's matching you. The King of Pentacles is in a reverse too. Queen of Swords in reverse with the King of Swords upright. That shit, all that shit is confusing. I feel like you just need to take your time with making decisions. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? And I feel like somebody has already, like, it seems like a cycle just keep on repeating, man. This King of Swords, this King of Swords has something to do with that Queen of Swords in the damn reverse. And I feel like something is just tricky. Yeah, emotional turmoil, the moon energy. Emotionally more volatile, be careful of mood swings and being overly sensitive to rejection or criticism. Fluctuations in emotional state, dependency on others, manipulative behavior. What's the Queen of Swords reverse? Something could be happening this week. <clears throat> blooming aries excels academically personally or financially rise of creativity self-assured developing new skills star on the rise taking action watching their hard work paying off finding fun outlets open and honest with others yeah this this person whoever this bitch right here is they playing in your energy then we have towards energy with a more deep connections meaningful choices strong support system prosperous partnerships financial success you will be given an offer of love or money, harmony and balance. Someone new will enter your life. Someone will give you new experiences to explore and grow. And it says definitely yes. Yeah, so this is you thriving and striving. 
and, and transformation and then we have completion so it's like that's what i'm saying this person is trying to confuse the fuck out of your ass then they're doing that shit on purpose but when you slap the fuck out of them it ain't gonna be too funny then huh losing asshole somebody here is a loser they're a fucking clown they're a clown and they're doing that shit on purpose i feel like a new cycle has started and somebody is like trying to stop you from going towards it or they're trying to make you impatient and they want you to rush into shit fuck no get yeah, anxiety somebody's projecting this energy onto your ass to block you and shit like that because i feel like this person feels like you took somebody from them scorpio and i just feel like if you would have known about this hoe then you would have never even dealt with somebody that dealt with this bitch let's just say that it's like somebody is so pressed else people have lost their damn mind yeah we got action here so yeah we got action twice the temple path third chakra yeah that's your solar plexus what else patience take action but still but be patient don't rush work towards your goals but don't rush anything okay Second chakra, sacral chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay. Man holding a heart. Yeah. So, okay. What else? So, there is a man holding a heart here. Like I said, somebody over here loves your ass. Yeah, hostilities. Just be patient because there's hostilities here. People are working against you right now. Just make sure you are thinking straight before you making any decisions, honey. Yeah, daughter romance. Walking away in deceit and storm warning. Somebody wants you to walk away from the door to romance. <laughs> like, they're trying to confuse you. All tied up here. Under this second chakra. Mm. What's this? What's this second chakra right here? Yeah, storm warning. Yeah, what's the second chakra with the storm warning? envy yeah somebody's like jealous they're attacking your sacral chakra your deceit but they fucking lame ass <laughs> they mad because they man left they ass they don't want to be with this bitter asshole they mad as fuck they feel like it's your fault but i feel like it's because of something that you do for work online you're helping somebody to grow or change and they're mad and they, i feel like they think this person coming towards you i feel like bitch they ain't coming over here but they ain't coming to you either <laughs> weird ass somebody's like mad as hell <clears throat> they're so mad What's all tied up? Woman holding a coin in the reverse. That's like the Queen of Pentacles reverse to me. Somebody could be attacking your finances. What's all tied up with a woman holding a coin? The thinking woman. <laughs> Somebody's attacking your root chakra too. Yeah, appreciation. Oh, yeah, so this woman is holding a coin. This woman that's holding a coin in the reverse, they're mad because they're losing money. <laughs> they're mad because they're losing some sort of money. Okay. This card reverse can indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or some health issue. Hmm. It could also reveal a lack of value for yourself in your own life. Hmm. Okay. Pointing to someone else, when this card comes in reverse, it shows a woman. I mean, what? Yeah. It shows a woman who may be reducing your own money or simply may not have your best interest in mind regarding your financial affairs. It could also be someone who devalues or criticizes you or causes you, causes you to doubt your own value. It could even be that the harmful energies of a woman from the past are still influencing you today. Be aware that you don't have to let anyone else's negative vibration influence you at any time. Release any toxic connection and know that you are free to define and value yourself no matter what. So, 
This is this other woman attacking you and whoever this is connection. Like, you need a core cut. That's what the fuck you need to do, Scorpio. You need to core cut. This second chakra, somebody's attacking this person's second, their sacral chakra. And this, this man here, whoever this is right here, they still want you or they still think about you or they still feel like they got a chance for whatever reason. I feel like you're trying to move on. You're feeling the attacks or the effects of this third party from this other person. This masculine here devalued you in the past or something like that. And I feel like, you know, you just let their ass go. Just period. Yeah, angel of love here, caring connections, angel of violence, victory, and broken heart. Yeah, so now somebody's broken hearted. That's this person. You need to core cut. I'm so sick of their energy. And this bitch over here trying to attack. What's a... Uh, What's a man holding a heart? There's a man holding a heart that's taking action towards you. Whoever it is, somebody that truly loves you. What's a man holding a heart? Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness. What's, what else? What's action? Door to romance, exactly. What's patience? Uh, okay, yeah, what's patience? Yeah, door to spirit in the reverse. Somebody here... With daughter patience and under hostility, somebody here wants you to be patient for them while they work through whatever the fuck it is that they're working through, but they're not doing it though. They're not learning shit. They want you to wait for them while they wait for you to bring you, they wait to bring you an offer, but they got a bitch over here attacking them that they haven't cut cords with. It's like some soul ties and shit going on here. Yeah, indecision, a woman holding a heart, the thinking man. Absolutely the fuck not. What's hostilities? This is a mess. Mm, yeah, angel of violence here and victory. Mm, no. Goddess of the moon. Yin and yang. Anxiety. <laughs> this whole reading is flipped, child. <laughs> I'm glad I can read energy. Because, honey, if I could not, I feel like y'all be going down the wrong path. <laughs> like, this shit is ridiculous. So let, let's just get a card here. Let, let's see. There's a connection here that's just not for you. It's not. And I feel like you know it intuitively. You need a card for Scorpio. You need to be going towards a man holding a heart. <laughs> All that. Whatever this is. This shit binds your sacral chakra too. It keeps you stuck or it just keeps you trapped. Somebody just constantly, constantly attacks you when you're dealing with a specific person. Yeah, new moon, new beginnings. When you allow yourself to open up and let love in, it just changes everything. This You need to let this shit go. Whatever this is. What? Yeah, let's say reach for the moon. Go for it. And then we have moonrise, cleansing. Exactly, yeah. The falling moon, release blocks, period. Yeah, this, this connection right here with this third party shit is a blockage. This hoe over here keep on attacking this damn masculine. And when you get in, in, like when you deal with a specific masculine, this person, it just keeps you just stuck. And that ain't even your damn person. You might have thought it was, but it's not. <sighs> Lord Jesus. So it says, drawing this card suggests that you've been through a very difficult situation from which you're finally now emerging. Even though you're nearing the end of this challenging period of your life, or perhaps are already there, you still have energetic cords or attachments that you need to clear from your life. Think of them as energetic debris that needs to be washed away by time and intention. Just as we can see the moon rise nearly every night in the skies, so you too are nearly all, always able to pr process upsets with some effort. You need to carry out this cleansing of your body, mind, and spirit, or you risk remaining stuck in the past. Sit under the moon's beams and ask her to cleanse you. Ask Archangel Michael to cut your cords to the past. Take regular salt baths. Most importantly, set the intention that you're cleansing yourself of the past so that you may face a happier present and a brighter future. Once you're cleansed, you can start over in a new way. I mean, in a way you may not have even believed was possible. Yeah, some of y'all need to do a core cutting. You need to, or do take a spiritual bath or whatever. You need to core cut, like major. Because that, that's what's interfering. I'm, I'm looking like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the whole reading was confusing because of this energy. So the additional meanings for this card, it says something in the situation needs to be cleared. Use sage to clear your home energetically. You are emerging, cleansed, 
Integrity and truth will win the day and be kind, but also very honest. So about this symbol, moon rises when the moon rises above the horizon. We can't see the moon every single night for various reasons, such as overcast skies or the position of the moon in relation to the sun. But she's always there, rising reliably. Yeah. Okay. Reach for the moon and says, go for it. If you are hoping that the cards will confirm that you can get what you want, you're in luck. This card comes with the message, go for it. In other words, it's all there for you to win. If you've been doubting yourself or questioning your ability to achieve a goal or to make something work, this card reminds you that you're magical and amazing and you should rise to the challenge. Go forward with the positive expectation that everything can work out exactly as you'd like it to. The road ahead might stretch you a little and you may have to call on resources that you didn't know you had. So try not to become upset or even resentful if things don't just unfold exactly in the way you want. There's a reason why it's all developing the way it is. And part of that reason could well be because it's helping you grow as a person, possibly on a spiritual level. But one thing is certain. Do definitely go for it. Yeah, so the additional meanings for this card says don't give up. Aim even higher. Success is within your grasp. Challenges can be character building. And belief makes the seemingly impossible possible. So it says about this symbol, people will tell you that the sky's the limit, but moon lovers know it's easy to aim even higher. Go for it. Yeah. So don't give up on what you're trying to do here with this damn door man holding a heart. It's somebody else here. I feel that energy too. Somebody new or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Something's just a setup. Oh boy. Yeah okay <laughs> this was your reading scores i hope this reading gave you clarity okay like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my reads and i'll talk to y'all later bye